San Bernardino primary school tragedy leaves two dead. Two adults and an eight-year-old male student are now deceased as a result of a firearm discharged at a California elementary school on April 10th. At 10.25 a.m., 53-year-old Cedric Anderson was reportedly carrying a concealed weapon when he signed in at the North Park Elementary School front desk to visit his wife, Karen Elaine Smith. Smith, also 53, was teaching a special needs class of mixed grade students between the ages of 8 and 10 when Anderson walked into her classroom and opened fire. Police believe when Anderson delivered a fatal shot at Smith, two students standing near her at the time were also hit. Eight-year-old Jonathan Martinez later succumbed to his injuries. Authorities suspect Anderson then turned the weapon on himself and ended his life by firing a self-inflicted gunshot. The two children injured in the incident were flown by helicopter to local area hospitals. The one child who survived remains in stable condition. The school's other 520 children were evacuated and taken to a nearby high school to be reunited with their parents. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. This needs to stop. Teenage student goes on a shooting rampage at school in France. A teenage student entered a high school in southern France yesterday and unleashed gunfire on his classmates and the school's headmaster. At least four were injured. A 17-year-old suspect reportedly entered Alexis de Tocqueville High School in Grasse, France on Thursday, armed with a rifle, two handguns, and two hand grenades. Upon entering the cafeteria at roughly 12.40 p.m., witnesses say the gunman opened fire, causing terrified students to rush for the exits and hide under desks. The gunman reportedly wounded three of his fellow classmates. The school's headmaster attempted to intervene and sustained a gunshot wound to the shoulder. None of the injuries in the shooting are considered life-threatening. The gunman was arrested by police within minutes of the attack and reportedly did not show any resistance. The suspect has been identified as 17-year-old Kylian Barbet, the son of conservative French politician Franck Barbet. The motives for the boys' shooting spree are unclear at this time, but Barbet's Facebook page suggests a fascination with firearms and madmen, with several posts dedicated to the Batman comic book villain The Joker. He is said to have been obsessed with American high school shootings such as the 1999 Columbine massacre in Colorado that claimed the lives of 12 students and a teacher. Wisconsin teen opens fire at school prom before police officer shoots him dead. Two students were injured on Saturday night after a teenager opened fire at his former high school in Antigo, Wisconsin. Reports say a prom was taking place at Antigo High School on the night of April 23rd when 18-year-old Jacob E. Wagner started shooting a rifle outside the school around 11.15 p.m. Police said an officer was patrolling the school grounds when he heard the gunshots and promptly shot Wagner, killing him. During the shooting spree, one female and one male victim were injured. Both are expected to survive. A prom DJ told reporters that authorities quickly locked down the school after the chaos erupted and students were cordoned inside the gym until about 1 a.m. Police have not released a motive for the attack, but the Wausau Daily Herald reports an ex-classmate saying that Wagner was frequently bullied, at least since middle school. Meanwhile, the Associated Press reports Wagner's friend Dylan Dewey said a girl whom the suspect had been dating broke up with him last month. Dewey described Wagner as an all-round good guy who was interested in guns and hunting but didn't seem able to afford a gun. A picture Wagner posted to Instagram about four months ago shows an airsoft rifle placed on a bed. Wagner graduated from Mandigo High School in 2015, but his Facebook and Instagram pages indicate he continued to play in the school marching band through the past year. The school's newspaper listed him as an honor roll student last year. Hero tackles gunman in new video of 2014 school shooting. New video footage has been released of the deadly campus shooting at Seattle Pacific University, which took place two years ago. The surveillance video shows the armed gunman, Aaron Ibarra, entering the school's Otto Miller Hall building on June 5th, 2014. Ibarra had already wounded two students by the time he walked into the hall and can be seen pacing back and forth in the lobby, talking to another student sitting near the entrance. The student sitting down doesn't seem to realize the gun is real. Moments later, another student, Sarah Williams, comes down the stairs. She appears to calmly walk toward the gunman, who then takes aim at her and fires his shotgun. Shocked, the other students in the room quickly get up and run away as Ibarra reloads his shotgun. 
That's the moment when student safety monitor John Mace makes his move and courageously attacks the gunman with pepper spray, taking him to the ground. The two struggle until Mace is able to wrestle the shotgun out of the attacker's hands. After prying the firearm away, he quickly takes it to a back room and stores it. As he's out of the room, the dazed Dibara pulls out a knife, supposedly with the intent to kill himself. Mace comes back into the picture and manages to get the blade out of Ibarra's hands. He then holds him in a tight headlock until he can get assistance. A few seconds later, another student rushes down the staircase to lend a hand. He goes toward Mace and then kicks the knife out of the attacker's reach. The two students keep Ibarra from moving until police arrive to arrest him. 21 angles of security camera footage were being withheld by the King County Prosecutor's Office, but several media outlets fought to have them released under the state's Public Records Act. The university and students involved had hoped the videos would not be released, not wanting the community to relive the trauma stemming from the incident. 28-year-old Aaron Ibarra is set to go on trial in September, facing charges of premeditated first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and second-degree assault. He reportedly had a history of mental illness and told police he had stopped taking his medications. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Three teens arrested for a plotting shooting rampage in Michigan schools. Three teenagers were arrested on October 29th in Michigan's Argentine Township for plotting shooting rampages at two schools. The information was kept under wraps until authorities confirmed everyone involved was in custody. The alleged shooting plan was to be carried out at Linden High School and Linden Middle School on October 30th. Thanks to an Instagram post and information obtained by a school resource officer on October 28th, police arrested 18-year-old Ryan Stevens. After looking at his phone, authorities also arrested Lamar Dukes and Cody Brewer. Police say the plan involved the purchase of firearms and had possible targets inside both schools. The trio have been charged with murder conspiracy and false report or threat of terrorism. If convicted, they could spend life in prison.